The first one uh, title of this particular study is is a technology assisted web application for consumer access to a non prescription statin medication. All that essentially means is that an app was developed where consumers, patients, however however you want to frame them, mm-hmm. can uh, after a you know a selection process, they were able to answer a certain set of questions via web app to spit out an answer on the other end that allows them to to determine whether or not they would be a candidate for cholesterol lowering medication. And in this case, it was uh, resuvastatin five milligram. Okay. And so this is this is particularly interesting to me because, you know, we we have talked a lot about statins. We've talked a lot about cholesterol lowering medications. And then there's also this for for some people who aren't aware, there's even this history of um, drug makers trying to push for certain statins, certain cholesterol lowering drugs to be available over the counter. Such attempts have generally failed Mm -hmm. just because the uh, essentially all imagine Tylenol. There's a drug label on the on the box you can look at it it tells you what it is what dose how much to take who should take it right when when to talk to your doctor if if you're experiencing x or y so imagine the same thing for your cholesterol medication a lot of people you know maybe those who are overly health literate or they have a health background they might be able to look at that drug label and correctly determine hey i am a candidate based on some of this blood work or based on these factors, maybe, maybe I am a good candidate. I can start taking this medication. The, the the point is the vast majority, I think there was, I think it was under, under 50% of people in one specific study chose the wrong dose or they just chose wrong altogether. Hmm. So the point is here, looping back to this, this paper by using a, an app, sort of a guided approach you can sort of bypass your doctor, answer these questions, sort of an algorithmic process that we'll talk about, and then it determines whether or not you can purchase, essentially, a, a statin medication without a prescription. So tell me about the study. Tell me about the, the app. They looked at about 1,200 people. One, all said and done, there was a self-selection process. All said and done, 1,200 people the essentially the app's advice so looking at the results quickly the app's advice matched the clinician's selection in about 90 percent of the cases wow so it's so the app said here's what we think you should do and then they blinded so to speak the the clinicians and they looked at what they told the patient to do compared the results And in in roughly 90% of those cases, they were on the same page. So that's a pretty good, that's pretty solid. Yeah. You know, that's a legitimate, uh, legitimate congruency on, on that aspect. Then 98% of the individuals who ultimately were recommended this five milligrams of Crestor, they used the medication correctly. So not only was it matching algorithm to clinician. They also got the medication and they were adherent in that six month span that they were measuring them. Wow. So that was the very general generalized findings. Um, and then they also, to add to that, they, of course, I mean, we're talking about cholesterol lowering, um, the, the participants LDL cholesterol dropped by about 35 and a half percent at six months from a baseline average of 140. Wow. So that's, you know, as expected, that's, that's what it's that's supposed how, to that's do. That's what it's supposed to do. And right. again, just speaks to the adherence of the participants. So wanna, I did want to clarify one thing. We are talking about um, something called primary p- prevention, which we've mentioned in other settings. But in this case, this is using a cholesterol lowering medication for primary prevention for somebody who has not had, who doesn't have cardiovascular disease, who has not had an event. Yes. Um, and they do not have additional coexisting conditions that would render them a candidate for higher intensity statin therapy. So this is a very specific kind of sliver of the population. 
uh, I imagine that the app sort of told them if, if, Hey, you listed these 10, these 10 things, you know, these other, you know, maybe you had it, you have a, a aortic stent placed, or you have, you've had a history of a stroke. This is not, this would say, do not use this stat. And you are a candidate for another, another <laughs> go thing. Talk go talk to, to your go, doctor. That's what it tells yeah. you. Go talk to your doctor. So I want it to be clear that it's not just like, oh, we're just going to get as many people on five milligrams of Crestor as we can. There's a lot more rigor to what they, um, you know, to that, you know, that selection process. Got so. it.